Bill Gates has come up with a new startup which could be very helpful for reducing climate change, what is his startup plan? Welcome to the BizPage channel. In this video, we will be the startup that Bill Gates has come up with and how it will benefit the environment. If you haven't already, then be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more valuable content. Now without further ado, let's dive in. The new startup is based in Iceland and is looking into solving a climate change need. The idea is turning carbon dioxide into rocks. This method would enable greenhouse gases to be stored safely and used for other purposes, rather than getting into the atmosphere. The rocks can also have other purposes. The name of the startup is called Carbfix and is based in Reykjavik, the Icelandic capital. The whole process aims to capture and dissolves carbon dioxide in water. Then, what is left of the CO2 is inserted into the ground where within a time span of two years, it turns to stone. As stated by the Carbfix CEO, this is a technology that can be scaled. It is cheap, economic and environmentally friendly. We are just doing what nature has been doing for millions of years, so we are helping nature help itself. This means that if this business is successful, other similar businesses may arise around the world to follow this process. Nature is also benefiting in the long term. This idea was once considered to be nothing more than a dream. However, within the last few years, obtaining CO2 and storing it for other purposes has captured the interest of well-known investors. Examples of these investors are Bill Gates and Elon Musk. Both of these highly successful people are researching the best solutions to deal with climate change and how to reduce it. There are two methods in which this process and technology works. The first method is known as carbon capture. This is when the gas released from the smokestacks of factories and power plants are trapped before it goes into the atmosphere. The second method is known as carbon removal. This is a more complex process, as it involves withdrawing carbon dioxide from the air around us in order to store it. The capture of carbon will enable a business or organization to have zero emissions. This effect can even go into the negative by extracting more carbon dioxide out of the air than it can be produced. The company of Carbfix is aiming to do both methods for its business. The project is based at the Helishidi Geothermal Power Plant in order to capture the CO2 when it is released. They are also scaling the idea as they go. Carbfix is collaborating with Climeworks AG, which is a Swiss-based startup. Climeworks AQ designs special machines to capture the carbon dioxide from within the air. Geothermal plants already produce renewable energy without a main fuel source, however, they do produce a small amount of carbon dioxide that comes from a natural gas facility. Are you learning some interesting facts about this new business concept? If you are, then be sure to leave a like on this video and visit the channel for more valuable content. For more information, the read the video description below. The way that Climeworks works to capture air is a pricier operation. People are able to buy offsets that cost more than $1,200 a ton, according to the company website. You can get the offsets for a cheaper price if purchased in bulk. Bill Gates had stated that he bought out their capacity to get a discount in volume. Instead of paying $1,200 per ton, he got the price to $600 per ton. The EU's ETS was established before the technology for capturing air became possible. Also, a number of analysts are stating that such offsets will need to become linked with the program to ensure Europe meets its 2050 Green Deal of becoming climate neutral. Meeting the Green Deal is one of the main reasons why Gates and Microsoft are backing projects by Climeworks and are willing to help invest into the projects. Microsoft's Carbon Removal Manager, Elizabeth Wilmot, has stated that Climeworks Direct Air Capture Technology will be considered a main component of carbon removal efforts. Along with this, Elon Musk announced that he would fund a new carbon removal prize worth up to $100 million for the best technology innovations over a period of four years. The company of Carbfix said would also take part. Let's take a look at the brief history of Carbfix. The idea of Carbfix was created from a research project and founded in the year of 2007. The founders were Reykjavik Energy, the University of Iceland, CNRS in France and the Earth Institute based at Columbia University. At present, the company is owned by Reykjavik Energy. The first working of the project was done in the year of 2012, this was then followed by a full-scale capture plant for two of six high-pressure turbines at the Helishidi plant in the year of 2014. 
The capacity for the plant's capture was scaled and doubled in the year of 2016. The aim and goal was to reduce emissions from the plant to near zero in the next coming years. In the year of 2017, Climeworks installed a special machine that was designed to capture air. This was based at Helishidi. It is basalts which is what the technology relies on. This is the chemical process where carbonated water reacts with elements such as calcium, magnesium, and iron. This chemical reaction forms the carbonates that fill up empty spaces in the underground rocks. CarbFix is collaborating with other research institutions, with the aims of making the technology possible for other rock types. The company has a goal to reach 1 billion metric tons of permanently stored carbon dioxide in the year of 2030. CarbFix has said that the storage potential on a global scale for using the technology is greater than the fossil fuel emissions that are being given off. Europe has the capability to hold 4,000 billion tons of carbon dioxide in rocks, and the US has the ability to hold 7,500 billion tons. Within the project, there is the ambition and high hopes that the technology can be scaled on a global basis to help deal with climate change. There is also hope to make changes quickly to start making a positive change. It will be interesting to see how this business venture will go. Be sure to leave a comment below on your thoughts on how you think the process will go. If you found this video interesting, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the BizPage channel for more valuable content. Thank you for watching.